Hey there guys, it's Lonnie and today we're going to be taking a look at a new product I got. It is a Bluetooth transceiver that I'm going to use to play devices such as iPod Touch, iPhone, which is actually recording video right now. Uh, I've got a MacBook Air right here that can do Bluetooth and I've also got a, an iMac here that I also run through Bluetooth and I'll show you guys kind of my setup in here. This is my little home office and you should be able to see I've got my old Yamaha stereo from like 1995 in here and it still plays really well and the speakers sound pretty good too. Uh, they're kind of smallish, kind of bookshelf size speakers but I got one there I've got one on the other side of this cabinet here. I've got a subwoofer down below the desk. You can't really see it down there. It's kind of dark. But um, it sounds really good. <clears throat> and it works really well. I've, what I've been using so far is <clears throat> this little RCA, uh, this little RCA doodad, RCA to mini plug thing. And then the RCA, of course, goes to the back of the stereo. That works well. Can plug directly into the headphone jack works fantastic but uh, what I like to do a lot of times is play music or a podcast something like that and I'll crank it way up and I'll go around the house do the dishes uh, maybe I'm cleaning or something doing something in another part of the house with it cranked way up if I need to stop the music or if I want to fast forward or skip a song or pause whatever I have to run back to the office pause it whatever and then go ahead and do whatever I was going to do. Uh, it'd be better if I can carry the device with me and control it by Bluetooth, so that's why I bought this little transceiver to hopefully provide a Bluetooth connection. I haven't opened it yet. It's six bucks on eBay. So I'll go ahead and let you guys take a look at this now. Basically this has just... Let me open this up should be pretty simple it comes with losing focus here there we go it comes with the this uh, mini plug here don't need that and this is a little Bluetooth transceiver itself right here see on one end it's got a place for the mini plug other end is USB port for power so looks like the directions are pretty simple you according to this you just connect it and when you try and pair password is four zeros and that's it so let me give this a shot and I'll let you guys know how it works Let's see get my other camera here and I'll kind of show you all what I'm hooking up to go. I'm just going to unplug that. Plug the little unit in here. And this is already hooked up to an input on this is already hooked up to an input on the uh, stereo right now. So it should start working right away. I believe Settings, Bluetooth. Let's see if it's showing up. Ah, there it is. Miscellaneous PT810. That's the model number, not paired. So I'll go ahead and pair it now. It says connected. It didn't ask for a code. Maybe 0000 is the default and doesn't. It's not something you have to actually put in. We'll just play some music real quick. Still spinning up there. Okay, it's playing somewhere. Let's see. Volume all the way up. I might be on the wrong end. Let's go, dude. 
Okay. Let's play it through the stereo now. It's perfect. Sounds crystal clear. So Okay, and I'll try it with a game real quick too. Ah, we'll do Flappy Bird. And I have Flappy Bird playing on I wasn't looking just now. I have Flappy Bird playing on stereo. So cool. It's working fine. That's enough of that. So it's the Bluetooth Music Receiver model PT810, six bucks shipped on eBay. I'll put a link uh, in the description down below. And stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys.